Hey, what's Grace going on, peace. everyone? What's Real quick, on, just want you to know, I need Happy you to subscribe, Friday. like, and share this channel. Out here, cleaning off the Enjoy. car. Got some snow. Real quick, I wanted to share something with you all that I was thinking about and have been thinking about for some time that I think is an important lesson for every person to grasp, but especially believers in Jesus Christ. And that's this. You know, as sinful individuals who have fallen in Adam, we are imperfect and we make ongoing attempts at sin or let me let me change that. We we continually sin, right? We continually fall short of the glory of God as we're told in the book of Romans. And although we have a new heart, new nature, we are still prone to sin. And so because of that, we have some choices, right? We can wallow in our sin and stay there, or we can pick ourselves up by faith and trust the Lord to be our strength and our help in the midst of that. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, um, to pull yourself up by your own bootstraps kind of idea, but I'm talking about this idea of, man, just girding up your loins, you know, uh, we have uh, oftentimes a defeatist mentality. We fall short and we just have this, woe is me, I'm nothing but a wretch, I'm a sinner, never going to be anything in life. And the only thing that does is perpetuate more failure. It just increases our desire to fail because it's like a... Uh, you know, it's like a crock pot, right? Everything you put in a crock pot is just stewing there for hours. And if we're putting doubt, lack of confidence, fear of man, you know, not holding on to the promises of God all in this crock pot, and it's just stewing there, it's going to beget more anxiety, more anxiousness, more fear of man, and so on and so forth. And so I want to propose something different, right? I want us to by faith, when we fall short, look to Christ, right? Look to Christ and say, look, I'm not defined by said sin, right? Whatever it is, lust, pornography, masturbation, anger, uh, fear of man. I'm not defined by that. You're not defined by that. You know, lying, stealing. We're a new creation in Christ if we have truly trusted Christ. And so for those of you who are in Christ, today I want to encourage you and challenge you to trust Christ, right? Trust him afresh today. And there was an old song back in the days from Aaliyah. And you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you don't. The song says, if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again and it's just this she kind of sings that you know in, in a repetition in a in, in repetition you know if you first you don't succeed dust yourself off and try again and the the concept is so true right you're not always going to succeed you're not always going to say what's right and do what's right but you don't have to be defined by that moment if at first you don't succeed get up get up don't give in get up right pray that god give you strength and wisdom moving forward not to repeat the actions of the past put yourself in a position where you don't ever put yourself in that position again and by god's grace move forward move forward so i just want to challenge you all this is my challenge Focus on the promises that God has in the scriptures that remind you of your identity in him. Okay, focus on those truths and don't focus on what people will tell you or how you think you feel or how you feel or, you know, all those things. But focus on who you are in Christ, right, based on what he's done and move forward by faith. So uh, also surround yourself with people who know the Lord, who love the Lord, who want to grow in the things of God and, and tell them, look, I need you to hold me accountable. I need you to, to, 
to come alongside and lift me up in prayer and build me up and and encourage my soul and you know because these are areas that I'm prone to wander in like there, there's some accountability there right there's some there's some vulnerability there when you're exposed to others that love you that want to see you grow that see your full potential and, and and ask them man listen I need your help and there's some humility in that there's humility in that because you're acknowledging and recognizing that you don't have it all together you're acknowledging and recognizing that uh, that you're there you're weak right and that you need the Lord just as much as any person okay just as much as any person um, just as much as any follower of Christ no matter who it is there's no such thing as a superstar Christian there's no such thing as a I made it now Christian I mean you see throughout the scriptures Paul says that I haven't even made it yet like we don't make it quote unquote until we're in glory and even in glory we're forever pursuing Christ so surround yourself with people that are pursuing Christ and although they're not perfect you're not uh, my point is you don't want to you don't want to only limit yourself to people who are struggling in the same way you're struggling right you want to surround yourself with people who are uh, above you and I don't mean above you in status but I mean above you in that they've they've been tested and they've been tried in areas uh, of the Christian walk and by God's grace they've been successful and they've lived a holy life in pursuit of Christ and they're fighting the fight instead as opposed to someone who you know is going to hold you accountable but struggles with the same sin you struggle with ongoing ongoing he never or she never seems to have victory in the same sins you struggle with that person can't help you you know that person can't help you in the way you need help in fact that kind of person can actually um continue help you continue in your sin right because that kind of person isn't really going to hold you accountable because they're not being held accountable so I'm not saying you should get rid of those kind of people, but I'm saying you need to have people in your life, man, who are, in, by, by God's grace, man, have grown and more deep, more rich, and closer to Christ. And they can, they can empathize with the things that you go through, but they can also give you the tools and the resources you need to keep growing and fighting your sin. So if at first you don't succeed, Man, dust yourself off and try again, right? Dust yourself off and try again. And set some goals. Set some ambitious goals, man. Like, you know, have you read the Bible ever in your life? Set a, set a goal, man. I'm going to read the Bible this year. You know, how, how's your prayer life? A lot of times, man, we we uh, we say, man, see, I, I set a goal to, to read my Bible every day this year and I failed. And so what's the point? We can't give up like that, man. We serve a mighty God, right? So, so keep pressing on. I bet you didn't read the Bible today. Maybe, maybe your goal was not realistic. So be a realist. Be realistic with your goal. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, let me let me be wise, man. I know me. I don't even like to wake up that early. So let me let me give myself a 10 minute uh, window, right? Let me wake up 10 minutes earlier today. For this next month, right? For this next 30 days, let me focus in on one area that I really want to grow in. And by God's grace, man, be strong in this area. And then watch that snowball into other areas of my life. So that's what I wanted to share with y'all this morning, man. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. By God's grace, keep pursuing the Lord, right? Keep repenting of sin and keep moving forward. Right? Forgetting those things that are behind, we press forward toward the mark in Christ Jesus. So, this is E signing off from the proverbial life. All of Christ for all of life. Let's get it for his namesake. Peace.